My father was diagnosed in the early 80s with Parkinson's. The dementia didn't actually start probably until the 90s, and my mother was the primary caretaker for a very long time in their home until she really just couldn't physically do it anymore. At that point in time, uh, my father went into a nursing home, but his condition continued to worsen between the Parkinson's symptoms and the dementia. I had known about the most form through my employer. And because I was educated about the purpose of the form, I began to have some discussions with my family. And there was a lot of conversation between my mother, my brother, and I about what would my father want. Unfortunately, we weren't all on the same page at that point in time. And because there was such a disagreement, um, I asked a physician to come and speak with us. And this physician uh, came to my mother's home. We sat at the kitchen table, and the physician walked through all of the things that would happen to my father should he have some type of event. We talked through each and every item on the form and what each item meant and how it would pertain to my father's overall health. Knowing what your loved one's wishes are and actually being able to carry them out because of your own personal feelings are two different things. And my mother and father were extremely close. They had that kind of old-fashioned love that everybody wishes that they had. Uh, so it was a very difficult thing for her to accept losing him or him not wanting to be resuscitated. The form was the insurance and the assurance that my father's wishes would be carried out. So for me, it was peace of mind. I also think it was peace of mind for my mother because I think my mother really struggled with those decisions. She knew what my father wanted, but she didn't want to let him go. It was a very difficult thing for her. Having that form and understanding what that form meant and what all the treatments would have, would have put him through at the end of his life was really important. As you've just seen, making clinical decisions is hard. The process involves identifying whether a specific treatment will make a difference, weighing the benefits and burdens, how it will be helpful and how it may be harmful, recognizing if there is hope for recovery, if so, what will life be like afterward, and most importantly, taking into account what is important to you, what do you value, and what are your goals for care?